recursion. A function calling itself again and again to compute a value is referred to as a recursive function or recursion. Normally, a function is called by the main program or by some other functions. But in recursion, the same function is called by itself repeatedly until the base condition is met. Let me explain you a program to demonstrate the working of recursion. Program to demonstrate the working of recursion. As usual, let us start our program with the header files, that is hash include stdio.h, hash include conio.h, then as usual, we need one important function for any C programs to get executed, that is main program. So then, let me declare the variables, whatever the variables I need for my program. Uh, before that, let me also declare the prototype. So that is int fact int k. This is the function prototype int result n. I have taken two variables, n is for the input number n, res stands for result. Clear the screen. The first printf function, printf enter any integer. I had to brief here saying that I am explaining you a program to find the factorial of a given number using recursion. Since I need to find the factorial of a given number, I have to get an input number. And that input number is of type an integer. Scanf percentage d ampersand n. My input number is stored in the variable called n. Then let me have the function call. The function call is fact of n. Let me assign this to a variable called result. Then I have the print function. The factorial of the given integer number is percentage d result. Get care function and terminate the main program. So this is the end of the main function. Let me write the user defined function that is fact. Always remember this is a function prototype. The first line of function definition must be exactly similar to the function prototype. It says int fact int k. This is the function definition what I am writing now. If k is equal to 1, return k else return k into fact of k minus 1. Close the function definition. So I have the three elements. So this is the end of the program. This is a program to demonstrate the working of recursion. And in this program, we are trying to find the factorial of any given integer number using recursion. So this is a function prototype. Here is the function call. 
and this is call by value method and then this is a function definition so here this is the recursive function code this four lines of code is called as recursive function why so here this is called as the base condition and this is called as the recursive function the recursive call the definition of a recursion says a recursion is a function which is going to call itself again and again until the base condition is met so in this program code the base condition is k is equal to 1 now let us start executing this program if i execute this program as usual the program execution starts from main yes the control goes to the function prototype checks for the parameter mismatch then the variables declared enter any integer number let me enter a number that is 3 now this value 3 is stored in a variable called n now the value of n is equal to 3 let us trace for a value 3 let us find the factorial of 3 so then the next line i have what is called as the function call so whenever there is a function call the control transfers from the calling function to the call function so here now the control goes to the call function by passing the value of n this is call by value technique this value of n is now occupied by value variable k so n is called as the actual variable and k is called as the formal variables next let us check for this code if you trace this pro program now the value that is stored in k is just 3 because k is storing the value of n if 3 is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 the value of k is currently 3 the condition says false the control goes to the else part and here we are returning a value k into fact of k minus 1 for the first return i am going to return the value of k so this is the tracing part the value of k is 3 3 into fact of k minus 1 k is 3 3 minus 1 that is 2 so there is an another function call within the same function fact this is the speciality of a recursive function so i am calling 3 into fact of 2 once again the control goes back to the beginning of this function and starts executing as a fresh value now the value of k is no more 3 it is 2 once again the value of k comes here yes now the value of k is 2 2 is equal to 1 the condition is false the control goes to the else part and i am going to return one more value here the second time that is k into fact of k minus 1 the value of k is 2 now 2 into fact of k minus 1 k is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 but we have to be aware that this fact of 1 is once again a function call the function is called within the same function itself this is what is called as recursion for the second time there is a function call here once again i am going to call fact of 1 now the control goes back now the value of k is 1 if 1 is equal to 1 yes the condition is satisfied and the condition is true return the value of k now the value of k is what if k is equal to 1 return k value of k is 1 i got a result 1 for factorial 1 so the result obtained for factorial 1 is 1 at last i am returning the value of k when i am returning the value of k i got a result as 1 now i am going to perform the reverse computation from the bottom 1 into 2 is 2 then what is the value of 2 into factorial 1 it is 2 now 3 into 2 this 2 is the result what i obtain from this 2 into fact of 1 fact of 1 is 1 2 into 1 is 2 now 3 into 2 factorial 2 is 2 3 into 2 is 6 ultimately i got a value as 6 and this value 6 has been returned back to the main program so when i get back this function the when the control comes back to the main program the value 6 is getting stored in the variable result next we are supposed to print the value of the factorial the factorial of the given number is percentage d result so i am going to get a statement something like this the 
the factorial of the given number is 6 ultimately whatever the value that has been computed within the function definition return back to the main program and at last we are printing the result now let me explain you and execute the next program on functions that is recursions so here is an example program to demonstrate what is recursive function and how it works let's start with the header file we have a function prototype here called as fact then the main program I have declared two variables of type long one is n another is factorial clear the screen printf which says enter the number scanf for inputting the number into variable n so then we have what is called as a function call in the name of fact n the next printf statement says the factorial of the given number is let's check later then we have the get ch function and one return statement here this is the end of the main program now let's check into the recursive function that is a function definition so here the function is fact which is going to have one parameter that is k if k is equal to 1 then return k else return k into fact of k minus 1 this is the recursive factorial call this is the end of the program the program I am going to explain here is program to find the factorial of a given integer number using recursive function let's execute this program line by line right from the beginning and let's check what would be the output yes the line highlighted is the line under execution and the program execution always starts from main just observe the flow control of this program yes enter a number let me enter 5 now the line highlighted is the function call so whenever there is a function call the control transfers from the calling program to the called program so the calling program here is fact n yes there was a jump in the control flow and the condition says if k is equal to 1 return k it's not 1 so the line under execution right now is the recursive function call so let me press f7 again yes yes second call third recursive call this is the fourth recursive call yes now the condition has satisfied that is k is equal to 1 the control went to the next line that is return k yes now the control goes back to the calling program yes this is how the control came back to the calling program after computing the recursive function at last we got the result as expected the factorial of 5 is 120